A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del vídeo. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. Welcome to our new devotional. We're going to be going to Psalm 19, verse 14. And the word of the Lord says the following. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Once again, we have in our hands a psalm written by King David. In this psalm, he's expressing or he's talking about two things. Very interesting. The first of all, he's very impacted and surprised by the work, by the creating word of the Lord. Everything that the Lord has created demonstrated his power. That creator God that he wants to always honor, serve, and please is the God that with the power of his word has created everything that exists. And that God he's submitting himself to and he's wanting to obey in everything. And then once again that he has exalted the name of the Lord for his creating word, Then, he's touching a, a theme of very importance, and it's the Word of God. How, through the Word of God, his many commandments and precepts and examples and exhortations, etc., we can know also our God. Or through the Word, or through the work that he, of, he, of his creation, we can conclude that there is a God that has created in order and has put a design in everything that we see. We, on top of that, apart from being able to contemplate the creation that demonstrate that there is a powerful God and all this has not been created by chance or an explosion creating a chaos and little by little has been in order, we can not only know God through his written word that we rejoice and we delight in it every day, but on top of that, God has also made himself known through his beloved son, Jesus Christ. So whether it's through creation, through his word, or through the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no excuse for not knowing God. And once that we know this God, then we serve and honor him with all our strength and all our resources and put our lives completely at his service. On top of that, Psalm 19, written by King David, is presenting God by my rock, by Suri. So the rock that each one of us can edify our families, our ministries, our lives. So that way, when the wind uh, and the storms of life blow, we can have a, a essential foundation to maintain firm in the midst of the problems of life. King David is also calling him Goali, my Redeemer, the one that has redeemed us, bought us, the one that has presented all of the necessary things so that I can per pertain and belong to the Word of God, to, the, to his family, and that nobody can take us away. In this Psalm 19, my dear brethren, we find expressions that are extraordinary. I recommend The, in this devotional that we have to reflect around this psalm, that you will read it carefully and enjoy each and every one of the words and expressions and verses that appear in it. Because a man that knows God is speaking. It's not an ignorant that is speaking. It's not a religious person full of theories and good intentions. A man that knows God is speaking here, and to that God that he knows perfectly well and whom he has a deep relationship, he's speaking about that God that wants to be our friend, our companion of life. A man that, he, that knows God is speaking, and then he's speaking about things that are extraordinary, and it is that David was considered the man closest to the heart of man, at least in the Old Testament. We exactly the same have to long for this, this, to one with all the strength of our hearts to honor and serve this God. 
to that God that for us is not a stranger, that God that will be with us every day until the end of the age, that living God that listens to us and knows us, that he's our redeemer, our rock, our refuge, our prompt help in time of need. To that God we're crying out, and in that God we have deposited our lives, our trust, and from that God we trust fully, because he's a good God, he's a God of love that wants to help us and strengthen us, and that he will never leave us alone. My dear brethren, to that God we want to invoke today, and we want to cry out to him today, putting our lives in his hands. And that in this Psalm 19, and this new day that just started, will accompany us and we can reflect and meditate in this psalm, beautiful psalm written by King David, that is going to help us and is going to strengthen us a lot in our faith, in our communion with the Lord. Let's pray, my dear brethren, to our good God. Father in heaven, thank you this morning for this privilege of being able to start this day looking at your creation, reading your word, and having communion with you, reflecting around your work around what you have done for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because for us, you are not a stranger, but rather the opposite. You are our God, our Father, Celestial Father, and we want to ask you to strengthen our faith and accompany us at all times and that you will give us a victorious day, a blessed day in which you can shepherd us and treat us however you want. Thank you for your love and your mercy. We put all these things in your hands with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you greatly. We continue in touch with all of you, remember, reminding you that today we have a service. We're going to be sharing that. And I invite you that you will subscribe to our YouTube channel, Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva. And in that way, you can look live our broadcasting. May the Lord bless us and use us, and may we all have a day full of the blessing of the God. Any information that you would like to have, we have a web page that we have announced it very frequently so that you can know where we are, the days of our services and meetings, the addresses, etc. It is mividanueva.org. And we continue uh, warning each one of you that every day there are people that continue to open channels in our name, on Facebook, on YouTube. Remember that we only have one Facebook page and one YouTube channel, which is Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva. Look always at the number of subscribers that are almost a million, so that you, the way you will not be a trick because they have no scruples and they're opening pages, making believe that it is us, but it's not. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren. May he keep us from all danger and all evil, and we continue moving forward in the name of the Lord.